outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic has disturbed the political, social, economic, religious and financial structures across the globe. In Kenya, the informal sector employs nearly 15 million people a year. Domestic workers account for at least 2 million of these individuals, yet very few have benefits or safety regulations. Sai, hakuna jobs kitu wa kwanza, and mali unapata job, unapata mdosi, hataki kuassociate na wewe sana. So, most of the employers wana kutupia nguo kwa dirisha, wengine mbaka do wana kutupia kwa dirisha. And hakuna negotiation kitu wa kwanza because, Sa ile mtu anakutupia nguo anakulipa vile anakutaka. Jua najua sa yuko in need of money na pia life ni hard sa hii time ya coronavirus. Unrelenting in its spread, the pandemic has rendered many of them jobless as employers seek to protect themselves and their families. If you are a body in a house, as a house, a domestic worker, you are being isolated due to this COVID-19. You cannot relate with the family members in that house freely as we used to relate with them. During this COVID season, uh, we know that it is so challenging for our domestic workers to get jobs because personally as a placement officer, uh, I, can't, I can count the number of placements I've done since COVID started because everybody is shying out from bringing in somebody into their homes. While the COVID-19 infection numbers continue to rise, it is evident that women will suffer the most in vulnerable segments such as domestic cleaning. Kutoka corona itangaswe, ata landlord ya nakuja na tuambia kwa nyumba. Kwa nini ya mulipi nyumba? Atuna pesa. Hapa ndiyo tunapatanga kitu yetu ya siku. Tukipata miatano, tukipata elfu moja, hapa ndiyo tunasomeshia watoto wetu. These workers are facing many unforeseen challenges that continue to plague their very existence. Kwa tunaenda vibarua na pia tuko na kapat job tunafanya. So hiyo kibarua ndo ilikuwa na support hii ka biyashara kidogo. Sasa hivyo nye vibarua zimeisha unapata biyashara inaanguka. We watch helplessly as this pandemic continues to rear its ugly head. The needs of domestic workers have become even more acute. Meeting these needs is key to safeguarding both their well-being today and future potential. That is why the Center for Domestic Training and Development has decided to step in and bring some relief to these ladies during these challenging times. So what we, we are doing as an organization to give them support that they need, we started by forming our WhatsApp group, which we do a daily checkup on them. We are communicating with them. We are also dispersing information that they might need uh, concerning COVID, how to prevent the measures to take. And it's also, uh, it works uh, kind of our safe space as women because we are all women there. So we find that if you have an issue, a burning issue, you can talk it out there and then fellow women will help you to cope with, your pro with the situation. We're also offering the mask to them. For starting, uh, we've produced 3,000 masks and all these masks are, go masks are going to the domestic workers. The center has been able to extend its support to these ladies through the generosity of its donors. It has been a combination of effort in coming to make this mask because we couldn't do it alone. We have these girls who were sponsored by One World Children's Fund to do their training course. These girls are the ones who have used their skills to make these uh, masks for us. The fabric masks, which are of very high quality, have three layers inclusive of a pocket for a filter. We really thank uh, the OWCF for the support they have given us for supporting our girls to go through that training because that one has really impacted us in making this, uh, is this match. The other people I really would want to thank is the Sukuma Twende Trust. They have been of big help in this, uh, in this process because they donated to us some of the machines which the girls have been using to produce the mask. The other organization that I really would want to thank is the Global Fund for Women who say thank you so much for working with us this journey. Uh, the Domestic Workers Transformation Program has been in existence because of you. This project has seen many women get empowered and transform their lives. The initiative has enabled the center to establish 10 hubs in lower income areas that allow these women to access free home care training. The women in the hubs have also been equipped with masks and are now able to minimize the risk of infection.
It's been a long journey, two years of mentoring the young women leaders. And we know and we also believe that even as the, as the project is coming to an end, the leaders are well empowered and they will continue doing their good job with mentoring the, young, the other women in the hubs and just passing on the knowledge that they have gained through this, this program. We say so, thank you so much and we really are blessed to have you being part of us. Finally, the Center for Domestic Training and Development has extended its support to the women who do laundry in Nairobi estates, commonly referred to as Mama Fours. These are the ladies who sit by the roadside searching for daily domestic cleaning jobs. Their jobs have now been rendered scarce due to the ongoing pandemic. Kwanza mwezi wa 3 ile corona ile kuja mpaka wa leo sijawa ifanya kazi. Na naishi kwa nyumba ya mtu anataka pesa. Wengi wenye wako hapa ni masingo mothers. Wengine wa bwana ni mawido wa bwana walikufa. Sasa wako kujitokeza watusaidie, watusaidie tunaomba hilo. On behalf of all the leaders, we'd like to thank the Center for Domestic Training and Development for the provision of the masks. It has been a challenge to purchase those masks since we have no job opportunities for now. The ritual we get is only to sustain our kids and other basic needs in our houses. Thank you so much. I advise to my fellow domestic workers, I'd kindly add them to always wear their mask, sanitize each and every time they come and go out of their houses as they go to look out for jobs since they have to. Stay safe and keep it cool. It is our appeal to all the employers that during this season kindly let us be supportive to them, let us be empathetic, let us be accommodating to them and also let us be mindful. Uh, as they are playing this role of caring for our families as well as building our national economy. To all the organizations and the individuals who have been supporting us throughout our work, we say thank you. And we would also uh, like to appeal to any other organizations out there, even individuals, to kindly come together with us, support us as we are supporting the domestic workers. CDTD desires to do more for the domestic workers in terms of providing more masks, sanitizers, and even food stuff to the affected families. But again, we are financially constrained, and that is why we are appealing to all of you. With your support, we know we can be able to reach as many domestic workers as possible, and in that way, we shall be impacting many lives here in Kenya. <laughs>